Well, summer is closer than you think, which means summer camps are quickly filling up. Here to tell us all about the fun your kid could have at the Boys and Girls Club this summer is CEO Mark Lindsay. I love the Boys and Girls Club. Thank I want to let Mary. you know. It's really, really cool. And what better way to like spend your summer than hanging out with your friends and doing cool stuff? It's the most fun place on earth, as we say, when they yeah. step in there. But um, <laughs> thank you guys for having us again here on morning break. We are delighted. Um, we actually have two summer camp programs this year because okay. we just opened a new club in Hinesville. Perfect. So that club opened in February. They're going to have a different uh, type of summer camp. They're only going four weeks. It's $220. It starts June 5th. Uh, through the 30th okay. um, and their hours are different too 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, so a perfect. lot longer now for the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club we have been doing it for years and years we're gonna be opening um, from 8 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. starting May 30th through July 28th so it's eight weeks of fun um, and the kids get to do everything from field trips to art projects we also still keep them studying because you have to remember most kids digress about a month worth mm -hmm. of, of education in the summer, so we keep them in there in our IXL program. It's fun. I mean, they're, they're doing amazing things. Awesome. What do you think um, makes the Boys and Girls Club summer camps so special? Well, it's a safe, nurturing environment. You know, the, the program, one, it's for the parents affordable. It's only $175 for eight weeks yeah. um, and a $20 membership if they're not already members. But I think it's also they're making lifelong friends. Um, we are actually the club of champions this year, and two of those uh, champions were Flage Johnson, who just won the national mm -hmm. championship with LSU Tigers, go Flage, <laughs> and Nolan Smith, who also was a member of the club with the two-time national champion Bulldogs, yeah. go Nolan. So um, we're actually going to be having a watch party for him uh, coming up with a draft at the club, oh, and nice. we'll be announcing that. But it's everything they get. I mean, the mentors that come in, that's, I'm an old club kid myself from North Carolina, and that's what I remember, those summer camps, the basketball, mm -hmm. the football. Um, in in uh, Savannah, we're over at Mother Matilda Beasley Park. So, so many alumni that bring their kids back to the club. That's what it's about. That's awesome. What are you hoping that the kids will learn, other than obviously keeping those skills up from school, but what else are you hoping that they'll learn throughout the summer going to the Boys and Girls Look, Club? Look, we want them to dream big. We are exposing them. This year we started a film program. The kids made their first film. Hopefully cool. they're going to be here taking your job one day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're doing that. We also started with the Savannah Philharmonic. Uh, we're doing music composition classes. We have sewing, knitting, so many different things to expose them to. And it's up to them if they like it, they keep doing it, if not. But the more you expose them to, the more you see they love those things. And the next one we're doing is web design, so they can be the next web developers cool. out there. We want them to have jobs for the future. We're also starting our workforce readiness program. They're going to have the Oculus glasses and learning how to operate you know, forklifts and other things that are coming into this community, and particularly for jobs for the future. Awesome. So it seems like these families, these kids have a lot to think about. If you're going to go to Hinesville, you're going to go to the one in Savannah. Either way, you're going to be in good hands. It's going to be a great time. There's also another event you guys have, and that's also going to be a great time oh, yeah. of hearing. Oh, yeah. And Tim out there in RBC, um, we actually have our 106th uh, anniversary uh, golf outing. Uh, Monday, May 22nd, out there at Savannah uh, Country Club. Uh, thank you, O.C. Welch, for uh, supporting us again and hosting mm -hmm. us out there. Um, and you can go online to our website at fcbgcsav.org to sign up for that. Um, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, we have community leaders, corporations come out every year, but that's one of our big fundraisers and helps us support these programs that we do at the club all year long. Perfect. Um, is there anything else you want people to know about the golf tournament or the summer camps? No, we just, look, touch? we are so excited about the number of people that have reached out to volunteer. Yeah. We're always open to volunteers coming into the club. You know, we want these kids to experience everything there is out there. Uh, we have a good friend of mine that just came in and starts doing reading to Ruby, which is his dog, and the kids sit down and read to nice. Ruby because what we've seen is through, um, through COVID how much kids have digressed um, the kids in our program, we're up to over 800 members. We're pre-pandemic numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so we do about 400 kids a day just out of the Frank Callen Kids uh, a Club alone. So awesome. thank you very much. Of course. Thank you so much for coming. And hopefully you guys are jotting stuff down and thinking maybe the Boys and Girls Club is where my kid needs to be this summer. It's a great place. Thank you.